Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the OBS virtual camera on OMI TV so you can bring all your cool OBS effects and overlays while chatting with people. It's pretty easy once you know how, and by the end of this, you'll be all set up and ready to impress on OMI TV. Let's jump right into it. First things first, head over to the link in the description and download the necessary files. These files are essential for setting up the virtual camera. Once you've downloaded them, go ahead and run the files on your computer. Now, after running those files, you can close your browser, but don't go anywhere just yet. Open your browser again and go into the browser settings. Look for your camera settings, and from there, you'll need to select the new camera that these files created for you. For example, for me, it's listed as HD Camera C922X, but it could be different for you depending on your setup. Once you've selected your new camera, close your browser again. Here's a key part. If you're using OBS to stream to OMI TV, you'll need to deactivate the camera in OBS before moving forward. Once you've done that, it's time to open your device manager. You can find this by searching for it or by right-clicking on your Start button and selecting Device Manager. In the Device Manager, locate your camera, right-click on it, and then select Disable. A prompt will pop up asking you to confirm, so just click Yes. This step is crucial because it ensures that OBS and your system don't have any conflicts with your camera being active in multiple places. Once your camera is disabled in both, both the Device Manager and OBS, go ahead and launch OMI TV again. You'll also want to make sure that your OBS virtual camera is running in the background. If it's not, you can activate it by going back to OBS and clicking on the Virtual Camera option. Now, go back to your Device Manager and re-enable your camera by right-clicking on it and selecting Enable. After that, you'll need to activate your camera in OBS again. Just go back to OBS and select the camera source you've set up, and your OBS virtual camera should now be live. And that's it! You're all set up to chat with people on OMI TV while using all your cool OBS effects, overlays, and scenes. It's a great way to make your video chats much more fun and interactive. Thanks for watching the video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tutorials like this one. Catch you in the next video.